tutorial we are going to learn how to use layers with Atlantis. What we first need to do is go to the object inspector, then turn on the object list. And if you're showing the hierarchy make sure you go to the layers tab. And before we get started just turn on the catalog if it's not already turned on. Layers is a new feature in Atlantis 3. And as you can see we already have some default layers. And these default layers are automatically updated. So what this means is if I go to the VB visual sample for example, drag in the lime 24 inch tree, you'll see that it gets placed into the 3D preview and added to the 3D plants layer because we have auto ticked. Again, if we go upwards, we can go to the animated people sample and drag in the man here, right on top of the deck. And you'll see that now he has been added to the animated objects list. We are now going to learn how to create a custom layer and move an object to that layer. So let's click on the plus layer button. So this will create a layer. Then give that layer a name. So I'm just going to call it temporary, temp for short. Then what you need to do is you need to select the layer that you want to bring the object into. And then you need to make sure that you don't have auto ticked. Because if I leave auto ticked and bring in an object, it will automatically categorize it to the correct layer that Atlantis thinks it should go to. So let's now untick auto and go to basic geometry and just drag in one of the shapes that's in the folder. And you'll see now that basic cube has gone to the temp layer. Next we're going to tick auto so it's, it keeps automatically updating our layers and we want to select scene as the main layer. Let's just now bring in another object. So let's go now and bring the cone inside the 3D preview and you'll see that automatically has gone to the objects layer. So some questions that may come up is how do we move objects to different layers? All you simply need to do is click on the object you want to move to a different layer and drag it over top of the layer's name and you will see now that object has gone to that layer. And if you want to delete a layer, all you need to do is click on the delete button and that will delete that layer. Let's now look at the best feature for layers. Go back to the perspective inspector and you'll see a pull down where you can select which layers you want to have visible in your 3D preview. So this means if I, for example, turn off 3D plants, you can now turn off that layer for that view. Let's just now create another view from this view. So I'm going to right click on the view in the perspective view list and click on duplicate. So I've got a new view and we can maybe go down to the layers again and have the 3D plants turned on for that view. So basically what it means is that you can have different objects showing in different scenes. And that's how you use layers for Atlantis 3.